So there's an interview with Naoki Yoshida talking about his dislike of the term JRPG, why he thinks that it should be retired from parlance. And I think I basically agree with what he has to say, but let's walk through this interview and pick out a few things and talk about them. To start with, he actually talks about JRPG being a term that was introduced 15 years ago. I think that's actually quite a bit off. I remember this being a term that was used way back in the late 90s, back when I started. You have to remember that when I started, Western RPGs were almost a dead genre. This is back in the BG1 days, and there wasn't really a lot of life here. The Japanese companies that were making RPGs back in the 90s basically kept this genre alive. So back in the late 90s, when I heard the term, I didn't think of it as a discriminatory term or a derogatory term, but I wasn't a Japanese developer each either. But in those days, the the difference between the the RPGs that were coming out of Japanese studios and the ones coming out of Western studios were that the Japanese ones were much more cinematic, had higher production values typically, focused their storytelling in a different way, more characterful, more emotional typically. Uh, whereas the Western ones tended to be crunchier, a lot more numbers and math and almost more like strategy games. Um, so if you compare something like a Final Fantasy to something like a Baldur's Gate. Final Fantasy, amazing cinematics, very, uh, very emotional storytelling. Baldur's Gate, top-down view, very crunchy math in the background, almost more like a real-time strategy game. So I never considered this to be a derogatory term. But that being said, you also have people in the West, like Phil Fish, saying Japanese games suck. So I don't agree with that statement. I didn't agree with that statement at the time. It's pretty hard to be working on an RPG in the West in the late 90s and not look across at Japan and see them doing way better than you're doing for a lot of par the parts of your game that you're struggling to do. But if you're a Japanese studio, it's pretty hard to hear this and say, like, why are we being pigeonholed in this little group? Like, what's the point of this? The point, I think, was to try to differentiate the two styles of game that were diverging. The genre was essentially splitting in half. But if that was the case, why attach a region to one of the two segments? When you look now and compare the RPGs being built by Western studios and RPGs being built by Japanese studios, I don't know that you can easily point to anything being done by either group and say consistently, this group does that, this group does the other thing. So the moniker becomes basically worse than useless. If I make a top-down, turn-based, candy-colored, anime-influenced game out of a studio in Akron, Ohio, is that a JRPG? It looks like what people imagine when they think JRPG, but it wasn't made by a Japanese studio. If on the other hand, I make a very action-focused game with more muted colors, darker tones, is that a Western RPG? But it was made by a Japanese studio. What about Elden Ring? Is Elden Ring a JRPG? So I don't believe that this term was originally coined in a discriminatory way. I think it was attempting to be a descriptive differentiator between two kinds of RPG. I do think that that descriptor is potentially useful, but this particular naming choice isn't useful at all. And I don't even know if this is the way that we want to divide up our RPGs, because... If you use the kinds of games that would have been called JRPGs and Western RPGs back when these terms were coined, basically nothing coming out of AAA looks like either of these things. There are no games that look like Baldur's Gate being made by AAA Studios. There are no games that look like Final Fantasy VII being made by AAA Studios. 
they've all merged and converged into the middle of something that's different. And most of these games have also become action games to some degree, whereas both Baldur's Gate and Final Fantasy VII both had something that was a lot m closer to a turn-based style of combat. When you apply these groups, what do you do when the industry evolves and moves outside of that original definition? Most of the divisions that we've chosen to use for RPGs have kind of become confusing. What's an action RPG? When you look at the time, Dragon Age Inquisition was considered an action RPG. Is it considered an action RPG now, looking back at it? Or is it now more a traditional RPG? Has the window of what an action RPG is moved so much that things that can actually fall out of what is and isn't an action RPG? I am all for agreeing with this statement. I, I think the term JRPG probably never should have been coined. It certainly is well past any use it's ever had. We should look for different ways to subdivide the genre if we feel that that is necessary, but look at it more from the perspective of what the game is or contains as opposed to where it was made. I think as soon as you attach a region or a, a platform to a genre descriptor, you are pigeonholing developers in a way that doesn't make any sense and you are predestining the moniker to become useless at some point in time. JRPG is a useless moniker because if I'm a Japanese developer, I can make other kinds of games. And if I am a Western developer, I should be allowed to make things that would fall into this group as well. Similarly, CRPG is a bad moniker because it is talking about very tactical turn-based style of gameplay, but it be includes the platform computer in the moniker. So it's also a descriptor that's destined to become outdated and useless. While I do think there is use to having subdivisions and clarity within our genre definitions, this is not the way to get it. For me, the short answer is this, is for a term that is referencing a group, it should be largely up to that group to decide whether or not this is a term that they want to continue to see used. And in this case, Japanese developers are saying, this is a term we do not like. This is a term that is grossly inaccurate. This is a term we find to be derogatory. At that point, I think the discussion is basically over. The Japanese dev community is saying, we don't like this, so it's time to retire the term. A special thanks to my members. They provide the resources that this channel needs to keep running. If you're interested in becoming a member, there's a link to that down in the description. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up because that helps YouTube know that it's worth spreading to other people. We have merch now. This is the High Tea and the High Seas hoodie. There's a shelf below this video if you want to pick something up. Do you even feel that RPGs deserve to be subdivided at all? I actually am struggling with that to some degree because I think that because RPGs are so feature rich, they're very different from each other, typically. Pigeonholing them or building categories can be very difficult because you can often end up with a lot of overlap. Final Fantasy XV and God of War and Elden Ring and Dragon Age Inquisition and Mass Effect 3, Final Fantasy VII, Octopath Traveler, all considered RPGs, not entirely sure how you segment them up in ways where you don't just end up with really fuzzy and not particularly useful edges. Put your thoughts down in the comments. I will see you again soon. Thank you.